everybody, I'm Julia. And I'm Paloma. Whenever we travel, we like to rent apartments with kitchens because it's hard to eat out three times a day. Especially if you have little kids, because in Italy, restaurants open really late. The thing about Italy is that even if you don't know how to cook, you can still eat very well for a cheap price if you know where to go and what to buy. So come with us and we'll give you some ideas of what you can get. Our first stop will be at the bakery, which in Italian you call a panificio. Bakeries sell bread, of course, and cookies and jam tarts. You kind of have to get there early because they bake their bread fresh in the morning and it doesn't last that long. In some areas of Italy, like Tuscany and Umbria, normal bread doesn't have any salt and may taste bland to you, so you need to ask specifically for pane salato. If you want whole wheat bread, you ask for integrale. Little rolls for sandwiches are either called panini or rosette. In most bakeries, you have two choices of loaves, a pagnotta, which is round, or a filone, which is longer. We're getting a pagnotta, and some little chocolate cookies, which are called biscotti, for after lunch. When I'm older, I'm going to have my own bakery called Palomita's Bakery, and there's going to be all kinds of tarts, and pastries, and bread, cookies, muffins, and cupcakes. It's going to be all purple, and my sister is going to help me. Next, we'll stop at an alimentari. These are little grocery stores with a deli section and dry stuff, but typically they don't have food or vegetables. There's usually lots of good local cheeses to choose from. Fresh mozzarella comes in different shapes, either little balls called bocconcini, or twisted knots called nodini, or just a big solid piece. The best is mozzarella di bufola. Different kinds of cheeses are pecorino, made from sheep's milk, caprino, made from goat's milk, or cheeses like parmigiano, made from cow's milk, latte di mucca. If you're looking for a soft and mild cheese, you ask for più fresco e morbido. For something sharper and harder, you want it to be aged more, which is stagionato. Alimentaris are also a great place for things like olives, sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, or salami and hands, like prosciutto crudo, cured ham, and prosciutto cotto, cooked ham. Next, we'll head to a typical outdoor market, the best place to buy fruit and vegetables. Here's where you get all kinds of seasonal produce. There are usually local farmers too who have signs that say produzione proprio. In the summer there are lots of options for fruit. There's juicy pears, apples, all kinds of peaches. Try the white flesh peaches called pesche bianche. Those are especially good. Melone with watermelon and cantaloupe too. In the winter there are blood oranges from Sicily called tarocchi. But if you happen to be here at cherry season, you have to get those. The dark ones are the best. Tomatoes are bright red and delicious just to eat them on their own. Or you cut them up and make a caprese salad with your mozzarella, some oil, and some basil. If you ask for odori at the market, they'll usually give you some parsley and basil and celery for free. One. I can't tell the difference. One. These are not peaches. Wait, these are peaches. See. These are nectarines. The nectarines are fine, right? Okay. Two. Three. On the signs that show the prices, you'll normally see where it's from or the origin. Stay local and they will keep the cost down and get much more flavor. Okay, I think we've got enough for today. Let's head home. So my daddy's going to cut some stuff up right now. We're going to go set the table. And you'll see that it's a very simple, healthy, and delicious lunch.